Uche Nwonsu, it is shameful. Police now act like unknown gunmen, lawyer. Welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. An Abuja-based lawyer and human rights activist, Kpailumi Olaje Nbisi, on Monday lambasted the Nigerian police force, NPF, for conducting its operations like kidnappers and unknown gunmen. <laughs> Be ready to collect the critics. They say if you behave like a baby or a child, you are going to be spoken to like a child. And our Nigerian adage say if you do anyhow, you go see anyhow. If you talk anyhow, you go hear anyhow. So that is what the Nigerian police force they are facing. What that what common sense would have avoided? Common sense would have avoided for them. They just went and for the rest of even next year, you see this one. And it's a pity if you are an IGP of police, a commissioner of police, it will be recorded that in your tenure, police behaved like hoodlums. Hey, hey, the insults will spread very well. Let me see. Maybe they're going to discipline both those that gave the order and those that carried out the order. Let's watch how it all plays out. The news in detail. The lawyer described as shameful the arrest of Uche Wonsu, a son-in-law to an ex-governor of Imo State, Rocha Sokorocha, in a get-sepo style by the police. He added that the addiction of a police threatened the ideals of democracy and the first hierarchies should do all to bring the erring officers to book. Ola Jengbesi made this known in a statement just that the police released Wonsu 24 hours after max security operative whisked him away during a church service on Sunday at his hometown in Asia Mobiri in the Nkora local government area of Imo State. The statement was titled, Nigerian Police Force Get Sepo Style Arrest of Uche Wonsu is an Embarrassment to Nigerian Justice System. It read in part, the Nigerian police force conducted the forceful arrest and apprehension of Chief Uche Nwosu as shameful, unprofessional, and smacks of obstinate hooliganism, and hereby stands strongly condemned. Their mode of arrest has all the markings of kidnappers and unknown gunmen, leaving more questions than answers in the struggle to unravel the matter met the later minutes. As a rule of operation, Men of a Nigerian police force are not only required to properly identify themselves before effecting an arrest, but must be backed by the force of law in the form of a warrant arrest properly executed. In the arrest of Chief Mwosu Uche, who interestingly is a former gubernatorial candidate in the state of his arrest, police officers dressed in muftis storms the victim's church, where they reportedly shot sporadically, scaring churchgoers and put lives and limbs in danger as many scrambled for safety. The very nature of the arrest of Chief Uche Nwonsu, who was neither declared wanted by a competent court nor proven to be evading arrest, betrays the political struggle between the state governor and Chief Nwonsu's father-in-law, Senator Rochas Okorocha. But by continually lending itself as a tool of political oppression and the power struggle, that has consumed him a state, the Nigerian police force NPF is advertising itself as a tout for higher agency, consumed more by subservience, as sub, subservience to the abuse of power and clout than by a sense of commitment to the law and due process. And this is a truly regrettable state of affair. The bastardization of a law and new and due process by the police force represents a great threat to the ideals of democracy that we claim to uphold, and it is one that is frequently understated. We must now consider drastic actions beyond talking disciplinary, disciplinary actions against a few errant officers to a complete overhaul of the force without regards or favor to any. Yes, yeah, so I am for them. Look. Before you start saying eh, it is because it is a, it is a, a it is because it is a, it's somebody that's a public figure. No, I am even not interested in anything concerning politics. I've told you people before, 
I am truly apolitical. Whether it is a uh, Rocha Sokorocha son in law or it is somebody who is as simple as a civilian without any title, this is totally unacceptable. It is very condemnable. Sincerely. And this matter will not rest until the hearing officers are brought to book. Those that gave the command and those that carried out the command. Unfortunately, the person giving the command might be hidden. Yes. They might even ask them, oh, I told you to do this. Can't you use your common sense? That is why I kept using common sense. They will ask them, can't you use your common sense? For crying out loud, this is meant to, like this, a whole thing can come out of this matter. Number one, is can be looked from the angle of you went there to incite people to do violence. Because if the youth of that um, community had come out, and even the policemen, they were also in mufti, and started exchanging what they call exchanging words or exchanging arms or whatever, and people died. They will say, eh, before you know it, they will say it is the unknown gunmen, it is the, um, ban it is, no, not bandits, it is the IPOB and ESN, as they always call their names. That is what they will say. Meanwhile, common sense, you would have walked in there, oh, the church is still in service, okay, you can even hang around. According to the news we heard, the church was about closing. They were just going to be doing their Thanksgiving session. They have finished all the whole, uh, it was an Anglican church, so their mass was almost ended. You could have waited a little. Then when you see the man, you explain to him more as Nigerian or police, normal, normal police. <laughs> as normal officers will always do. We are so, 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 so this from the social, social division. We came, you are you under arrest for social, social crime. You are you have a right to your lawyer, and whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law. Simple, even me that I'm not even an officer, I can quote it perfectly fine. But these people know common sense did not allow them to, to remember. And they went and they were doing James Bond style, eh? As if they went there to, to kidnap Osman Dofodio or Saddam Hussein. Sincerely, I mean, no, no. It is unacceptable. And I'm going to say it's unacceptable whether it is for an ordinary citizen who does not have money or anybody in the powerhouse or it is for somebody who is wrapped in, in, a, in a kingship attire, not discriminating. This is where the rule of law comes to play. Whatever is good for the goose is good for the gander. So Nigerian police force, we are not going to allow this matter to rest until we do the need for on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.